This is just a quick video showing you how to add or uh, subtract some fractions. Very straightforward, but let's just run through a couple of examples. So the first thing you need to be able to do when you are adding or subtracting fractions is to make sure that the same uh, number is on the bottom of your fraction, and this is called the denominator. So between five and seven, we need to make a decision as to what common denominator they have. Because neither of them divide into each other, we're going to have to find a bigger common denominator. And one quick way of doing that would be seven times five, which gives us 35. So I'm going to change both of those to 35. Next, we're going to think about the fact that we've changed 5 into 35. How did we do that? We multiplied it by 7. So what you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. So 7 times 2 gives me 14. The same thing for the 7. How did we change it to 35? We times it by 5. So what you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. So 3 times 5 gives me 15. Now all I need to do is write the same number at the base or the denominator and add the top numbers or the numerators and that's going to be 14 plus 15 which is going to give me 29. So therefore my answer is 29 over 35. As this number does not or the numbers don't divide into each other we are going to leave it like that. Moving on to number two, we want to add these fractions together as well. So again, you're thinking about the fact, well, what number do they both divide into? We're lucky here because they actually both divide into the number eight. And again, you need to ask yourself the question, what do you multiply four by to change it to eight? You times it by two. So four times two goes, gives me eight. One times two gives me two. This is actually, the 8 is just the same thing, so we're going to leave that as it is and just write that down as 3. So therefore, the denominator stays the same, add the numerator, and we get 5 eighths. Again, nothing divides into the top and the bottom here, so we're finished. Next thing I want to quickly show you is how to change a mixed number into a um, top-heavy fraction. So basically what we do is we take the number on the bottom, which is 3, and we multiply it by 2. That's going to give me 6. And then we bring it up to the top and we plus on the 1. So we're going to get 6 plus 1, which gives me 7, all over 3. Another way to think about that is the fact that we have two whole parts. Each one of those two entire parts are split up into three sections. That means you have six sections in those two full parts. And you've got one extra section, so therefore you have seven thirds. When we're asked to calculate questions, let's say we have 2 and a third minus 5 quarters, for example, I would recommend that you change the mixed number into your improper fraction, and then you can calculate it from there. So for this question, we're going to have to change the base into base 12. Ask yourself the question, what did you multiply 3 by to change it to 12? You times it by 4, so 7 times 4 gives me 28. What did we times 4 by to change it into 12? We times it by 3. 5 times 3 gives me 15. The denominator stays as it is. And then we have 28 minus 15. That's going to give me 13. Final thing I'm going to show you is how to multiply and divide fractions. To multiply fractions, it's really simple. You just do the top multiplied by the top and the bottom multiplied by the bottom. So it's going to be 5 multiplied by 1, which gives me 5 and 9 multiplied by 3, which gives me 27. To divide fractions, there's a little um, trick that we do, and we basically keep the first fraction the same, we change the sign into a multiplication sign, and we flip the second fraction. So it basically uh, becomes, instead of 1 fifth, it becomes 5 over 1. So we keep, change, and flip. And then we just do the same as we've done before. So 2 times 5 gives me 10 and 3 times 1 gives me 3.